afternoon from Jamesy and I. We are walking over to my sister Christina's house. My sister Jenna is there. I knew that train was gonna interrupt me. It is also Cubs opening day today, just down the road at Wrigley Field. Just super exciting. I've seen so many packs of Cubs fans all decked out on their way over. You guys know Peter and I aren't big sports people, but if we had a favorite sport, it would be baseball and the Cubs are our team. So I've downloaded the MLB app. You know, we live so close. We are determined to be a little bit more involved this year, but we are excited for baseball season. It is very, very sunny today, but fingers crossed. It's our last below 40 day for a while. on Instagram while we wait for James to wake up. He's been sleeping. <laughs> He's been sleeping for like two hours and the plan is to go back to my apartment for dinner. But we can't wake him up. So we're waiting on him. We're gonna go live while, while we do so. I love yesterday. This puppy's with me. Finally finished up my work day real late. What are you so excited for? Huh? Today was Thursday, but it was the first. So it felt like the ultimate Monday because the first of the month is awful at work for me. I have all these reports I always get to submit and everything on the first of the month. And work has just been real rough lately regardless. Um, so on top of all the added stress of the last like three weeks, I had um, try to, trying to put all of that stuff on hold while doing my first of the month stuff was just a little crazy, which is why I didn't even go with Sarah to Christina and Grant's earlier um, and finish the day there, which I usually would have, but I just knew I couldn't even do that. Um, I ended up working late. They're still over there. They're coming over here eventually once James wakes up from his nap. And so I'm just kind of chilling here with Eve. I might start in defense of food. It's just... Uh, the first of the month it typically wears me out like emotionally and mentally um, work-wise and because of how hectic and all the crazy things going on it just brought it to a whole new level but I, I could like I could just like sit on this couch and watch Netflix the rest of the night I really could but it will be nice to have the, the kids and everything everybody over um, to try to turn the day around I don't even remember what the last clip was <laughs> But we are at our apartment now. Mr. Jamesy boy finally woke up. We made our way over and we are making some dinner. And I feel like every time Christina comes over, we're eating Mexican food, but it's a crowd pleaser. And here we have peppers and cauliflower in an adobo seasoning concoction. Whoa. We got black beans with chimichurri seasoning. We got ground beef. We got adobo and chimichurri, but you know what? It's just, we're going with the flow. The kids have some quesadillas. We got some tomato rice cooking. Hopefully I didn't just ruin it by opening it. We got tortillas, some fixins. Not sure if we're gonna make bowls or tacos or burritos. Basically you can make whatever you want. More Mario party. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
What's going on in there? Oh! You ripped down your bear? You ripped down your bear? Big kid. All right, Christina, Grant, and the kids just left. It's 9.30. Um, Sarah's gonna get James all comfy cozy, and then we're gonna start watching Godzilla vs. Kong. You hear James in the background? Who, uh, I don't know what happens in this movie, but put in the comments who you want to win. I love Kong, but I'm a Godzilla purist, so I'm very much conflicted. later spoiler free review it was exactly what we wanted it to be uh -huh. and it was it wasn't even what i expected it to be but it was exactly what i wanted it to be mm -hmm. and it is in theaters we were saying like it i think that's what would have made it better my other claim is that does the hong kong skyline Meet Chicago skyline. I looked up a picture of it on Google, and it's it was more fancy in the movie. That's pretty fancy. But you have to look up a nighttime skyline, pick not a daytime skyline. Pick. I did. Okay. But it's st it's still very nice, and like the geographical elements around it too. That that is one thing that Chicago, besides the lake, that's what Chicago lacks. But definitely watch. Kong vs. Godzilla. We watched it on HBO Max, if you have that. Well, it is April 1st, so you get two messages today. That is not an April Fool's joke. The monthly message is by Anne Frank. How lovely to think that no one need wait a moment. We can start now, start slowly, change in the world. How lovely that everyone, great and small, can make their contribution toward introducing justice straightway. And you can always, always give something even if it is only kindness. Well, the quote of the day, the message, is by David Dukeman. Guard your time fiercely, be generous with it, but be intentional about it. I like that. Alrighty, so it is totally the next day. Um, we did our whole nighttime routine last night and just with the way that it worked out, we're like, let's just sign off in the morning. Um, Anyways, we're definitely still getting used to me editing at night. Um, again, it's going to be something to get used to and making sure that I start early enough and that Peter doesn't always necessarily have to stay up with me so he can get his day started at a good time without feeling like he's totally lost of sleep because I can take it easy. I can take naps with James. I can, you know do a little bit more relaxing. Um, whereas he, he's working, you know, more than 40 hours a week, more than eight hours a day. Um, so yeah, we are very much so in need of uh, this weekend. Tonight we are um, like sticking to getting pizza um, every Friday night and kind of trying out different Chicago pizzas to share with you guys. Um, so tonight we are going to Pequod's, which is where Phil goes in um, the Chicago episode of Somebody Feed Phil. We, I think Peter has had his pizza before, but I have not, so we're going there. And then tomorrow we have our very first, um, I don't know, like media ticketed event in Chicago that we're doing. It's not an event, it's just um, tickets that we got as far as being media and to cover and to share it with you guys. So that is super exciting to get like your first yes, we will work with you. Um, email back was really cool. So we have that tomorrow, plus some Easter egg dyeing, um, plus some time with my cousin Matt, and then Easter Sunday. So it is a good Friday, lots to look forward to this weekend. Um, a good mix of relaxing and having lots of fun. Um, so yeah, if you're not already following along on Instagram, I think I put in this vlog our handle. We are always updating like 
real time things there, also going live there every once in a while. Um, so be sure to be following that. So we hope that you guys all have a great Friday, um, great start to your weekend, and we'll see you tomorrow. It is good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.